Toyota Music Performance with Raheem Devon. Toyota, let's go places. Alex Al on bass. Boy, Alex Al, he make, he make you scream the N-word. He's so bad, you know, but, but uh, hey, lady, don't scream it. Don't you scream the N-word. Um, <laughs> my next guest still gets shout-outs for his now classic TV show, In Living Color. Please welcome the first generation of Keenan's discoveries and a guy who did this show way back in the day. He's so funny, Mr. Tommy Davidson. <laughs> for President Obama. Woo! Got real quiet with the white people. <laughs> you know? Hey, man, you, white people gotta stop asking us dumb questions when the voting's coming up. Like, here's the dumbest question they ask black people at work, you know? So you're gonna vote for Obama just because he's black? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm voting. <laughs> Obama didn't win the presidency because of his politics. He won because of the debates. Come on, he won the first debates because he was freestyling. <laughs> he had nothing to lose. They try to ask him a little question, he just expound on it, don't he? Senator Obama, what do you think about the word it? Well, first let's think about the word it. <laughs> if it means lowering interest rates and Americans can afford homes and it is plausible and it should work. <laughs> if we're talking about it. If it is too legit to quit, like MC Hammer, any of that old town stuff, then it's legit as well. That could be too pop or too short. <laughs> Obama say words black people don't even say. Obama say a word that had me at home like in shock. Risks. <laughs> say that again, risks. It's like he knows white karate. You know what I mean? He's got all, it's like he can just turn himself like his feet into a white man's feet. You ever seen him like do the tippy toe move? You know, and, and we're talking about jobs, okay? And we're, we're, we're talking about employment. <laughs> you ever seen him do the back pedal with the karate chop? And, and, and we're concerned about Medicare and about insurance. He can stutter better than most politicians can talk. When he's stuttering, it sounds like he makes it. And, and, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at these issues. <laughs> we'll make sure that we put, put, put them in perspective. <laughs> Obama can have you at the edge of your seat. Even black people be home like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you ever seen him draw you in real close, you know? I want everyone to look at my finger. <laughs> can you see it? <laughs> now, if you can't see it, I'll put it back here. <laughs> I want to ask each and every American one question. Where's it now? I think you know the answer. Actually, I think we need a black woman president. For terrorism. You fight terror with terror. Ask any white girl who went to high school with black girls who the terror is. She found out the second day of school. What is that? I didn't even know you. Black girls are mean. You ain't gotta know me for me to whip your ass. I don't know why white girls gotta know who, who hit them. Who are you? I be like, bitch, run. I know her. I think we need a white woman president. Hold on, black women, let me finish. Brother, say the word white women, black women. Say it again. I'm not talking about politician. I'm talking about any average all-American white woman walking the streets of America, because we don't know who our heroes are. I don't care where you are, you can be at the Best Buy, CVS, Toys R Us, IHOP. If it's some bull, who step up for everybody? White women are like heroes. You ain't never been in a grocery store 15 minutes, no managers, no cashiers? White women to the rescue. <laughs> they make announcements for everybody in the store. Hello! <laughs> what in the hell is going on back there? <laughs> Son of a bitch! Everybody give it a high five. You're welcome. <laughs> you guys can stay here, I gotta go to Home Depot. 
Couldn't have been IHOP trying to get a table on a Sunday afternoon, impossible white woman to the rescue. And I admire white women because they don't just start going off, they do public polls first. You always know a white woman gonna go off because she start getting eye contact with everybody real slow. She's heating up. She started doing little interviews. How long you been here? Yeah, that's bull. Yeah. Hello, help us. And they're negotiators. They can negotiate with the manager. Are you the manager? Yeah. Here, now. Primarily, we're just here to get pancakes. Black people love white women because you know what? They always refer to us, man. No, we've been here like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, this guy 45 minutes. But maybe Shaquanda has been here too long. With her two children, Nikki and Ebony, okay? Ebony's running out of Kool-Aid, for Christ's sakes. That's me, I love you. Yes. I'll be back with more funny from Tommy in a moment. You know what? The Arsenio Hall Show is brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. You need a new drummer, man. Yeah, man. Good God, that guy. He play drums, and brother is in Africa. Be like, hey, right, 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 right. Who's that white boy playing drums right now? Yeah. <laughs> That's my man. Yo, dude, I saw a picture of your son, and he looks like you looked when you came on my show a hundred <laughs> years ago. <laughs> that looks so yeah. much like you. Yeah. I've been very blessed, man. Let me before we start, just. I want to thank you. This guy was the first guy to put me on national uh -oh. TV. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, I think I think I think I, I think it was the I think it was the first like piece of talent like star that came into Hollywood that was totally started by all black men. Robert Townsend started me mm -hmm. on Partners in Crime. Mm -hmm. Then Arsenio saw that and was like, "You're gonna be on my show." Yeah. And then Keenan came along and said, "You're gonna be on my show." And people still come yeah. up to you and talk about Living Color, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 a blessing. Yeah. It's a blessing. It is, man. It's a you're on Twitter, right? It's tweet, it's tweet, right? <laughs> it's tweet, like, I'm, yeah, it's like, it's work. Yes, it you is. You know, because once you say hi to somebody, you'd be like, hi, hi, hey, what's up, what's up, what's yeah. up? I'm like, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I have to holler at y'all, you know? Get engaged, man, you get engaged <laughs> with it. I love, I love social media, and I'm glad you got the rights to this. Yeah, yeah. Tell them about it. Uh, Deconstructing Sammy. Deconstructing Sammy is a book that was wrote by a guy, Matt Birkbeck. Sammy Davis Jr. is something I wanted to do all my life since I've been here. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, the talented Gregory Hines, mm -hmm. God bless him, called me 18 years ago and said, you need to do the Sammy Davis Jr. movie, but you got to start now. Mm -hmm. And I was like, get out of here. I didn't know it was going to take 18 years, mm -hmm. you know? Now, I used to watch you work at the Comedy Store, and you have two Sammys. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, explain, break that down. I've seen well, you do two different Sammys. Well, there's one Sammy that's kind of like, he's like a caricature. He's the Sammy that I would do on In Living Color. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. guys, could you give me just a little chop on that? I mean, mm -hmm. if you can't, dun 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 ka do dun 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 ka do dun I mean, see that? See that? It's a character. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's bigger than life. No, 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 no. Halloweeny, we need time. You know? Yeah. Oh, 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 So if you did the movie, right, you would bring him in? Well, I, doing the movie is totally different. That's when that guy performed. He was over the top. Mm -hmm. But when he talked, he was real smooth, dude. He's mm -hmm. like, you know, yeah, you know, me and um, me and Alta V, you know, we are we're gonna go over to the club and we're gonna just, you know, put on some uh, Chanel. Yeah. You know, she's gonna get on her smooth suit and we're just gonna go and do it like groovy lemon pie, baby. <laughs> hey, you can catch Tommy at the Improv in Denver. I love that Improv. October 31st through November 3rd, and check out his website, TommyCat.com. Find out when he's gonna be in a club near you. This is Tommy Davidson.
over the next few weeks, Arsenio welcomes Simon Cowell, Janelle Monet, Quincy Jones, Anthony Hopkins, Eddie Murphy, and more.